Your friendship reminded me of the movie Shole where Dharmendra and Amitabh Bachchan were the bestest of buddies who can go to any extent to help or to support each Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Vlogging with Rajesh G. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing great and I hope it continues that way. Today, I'm going to review the web series The Sultan of Delhi, which is once again in the thriller genre. The story begins with the partition of India and Pakistan, where a father and son duo escapes from Pakistan and land up in Delhi after losing all their wealth as well as family members and the son is determined to do something or achieve something big here in India so that he can reclaim the old glory which he has lost in Pakistan. In the refugee camp, this boy crosses path with an Indian prince from a royal family and let me tell you, these two boys are going to have a very important aspect in their life when they grow up together. The boy from the refugee camp grows up to become Tahir Raj Paseen and he gets into a business where people are able to earn money very quickly. And he also finds a friend in the form of Anjum Sharma, a pair which becomes impeccable in the business. The friendship once again took me to the movie Shole, where Amitabh Bachchan and Dharmendra were known for their friendship because they were ready to go to any extent to safeguard each other. And the most important part was they both were loyal to each other. The prince grows on to become Nishan Tahia. And he is envious of Tahir because of the growing popularity which he has gained over the period of time. And the only reason for that is he is the best in the business. And Nishant wants to overthrow Tahir and take control of the entire thing held by Tahir. But he is not, not able to do it all by himself. So what he does? He joins hands with Anupriya Goenka who plays a very vital role in this web series. And let me tell you, her character is very pivotal in the series and she has really played it very well. Tahir comes to know about the intentions of Nishan and he's trying everything within his mind so that he can safeguard himself from the attacks of Nishan. Now the million dollar question is, who is going to win this battle? Will Nishan be able to overpower Tahir or Tahir be able to overpower Nishan once and for all? The answers to all these questions is in the web series Sultan of Delhi which is currently streaming in the OTT platform Disney Plus Hotstar. This web series has an impeccable star cast but the storyline is grappling as a result of which this web series becomes boring at times to watch. My personal suggestion or what I felt while watching the web series was if the number of episodes could have been reduced to 3 to 4 then the storyline would have been become much more gripping and would have been enjoyable for people to watch. Another biggest disappointment for me was the presence of Mon Moni Roy. We all know how good an actor she is, but in this web series, she was not able to showcase her acting skills, which actually disappointed me a lot. I hope uh, this video was entertaining for you. If that's the case, like the video, share the video, post your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until my next video, bye-bye, take care, and spread the power of positivity around you.